Hey, it's your boy, Picante Nino, coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Heidel Ball since it's really close to dropping. It's only about a couple of weeks away. And for those of you guys who don't know what the Heidel Ball is, it's basically a celebration of BDO. And it's the developers telling us, hey man, this is what's going to happen for you know this quarter to the end of the year. So they usually give out rewards, they usually show player statistics and what the actual devs are thinking about creating this wonderful game for all of us. So I'm going to bring to you guys my top 10 predictions that are going to happen during the Heidel Ball. So let's just jump into it. Mm. So in no particular order from these 10, my first prediction of the Heidel Ball is going to be the very obvious one. They're going to reveal more about the new class, assuming that it's going to be male, it's going to have a sword, it's going to look really cool. I think it's going to play more like a gunslinging hybrid of like Yasuo, if you think about it, like if Yasuo from League of Legends had like a gun. I think that's how the class would be. That's going to be my prediction. They're going to reveal the new character and the character is going to have a katana and a, and a, and a blicky, you know, just, just blah, blah, you know, like how Joker takes out his gun in Persona. You're just like, what? They have guns in Persona? Yes. That's going to be basically the new class. That's my guess. So they're probably going to be like, yeah, we're not going to make the gunslinger class no more. We're just going to fuse this gunslinger class into this like katana wielding male class. Because honestly, we haven't had a male class in forever, so... Yeah, that's the obvious prediction. So let's move on to the next one. So next is going to be DR accessories or just new accessories that actually, what's that called? Change up the meta in terms of the defensive type build. We have a lot of accessories that give evasion, but we really don't have that many good options for DR. The only DR accessory that we have for the earring slot are narcs. So honestly, they should just give us more DR accessories or more what's that called? Defensive type accessories, because I feel like we have way too many options for AP accessories. So I would like to see them actually make an effort to include that into whatever's going to come this year. For number three is the revamp of the Black Shrine. The Black Shrine is kind of mid, you know, I never actually do my Black Shrine. I just leave it and I forget about it because the rewards are just kind of meh. So I know for a fact they're going to get and they're they're planning on making C10 kind of like a thing in the future. So hopefully we get more information about that. And this actually leads into Land of the Morning Light Part 2. But still, like they should honestly revamp it. I heard rumors saying that they are going to add a group Black Shrine where you could actually invite your own friends or your own guildies to like do like this big raid boss in the Black Shrine. So that would be really cool. So yeah, I feel like they're going to have the revamp of the Black Shrine. Or what I mean by revamp, I mean just adding on to it. They're going to put C10, they're going to put group raids. I feel like that's going to happen. So that's my number three prediction. Okay, so prediction number four. I know all of you guys are going to say this, that it's pretty obvious. But yes, we're going to get new crystals. But yeah, I'm not interested in crystals that give us plus, you know, DR or plus accuracy or plus AP or plus human damage or whatever. I feel like we're going to get crystals that are kind of like out there. Kind of similar to the ones that are like increased jump height or you know have this much attack speed it's going to be crystals that we've never seen before in the game that's going to be like either meta changing or just kind of useless so i'd like for them to you know experiment with the crystals and see like instead of just running flat damage or flat plus attack speed um we should honestly get crystals that change the the way how crystals have always been you know example the jump height one like who would actually use those we want more goofy things so we can actually have these like really niche uh, crystal builds that are going on that somehow manage to work whenever you combine them all together instead of just combining the four set of hooms that take up half of your crystal slots into the build making it super super easy for you to build so i like to see the shake up in crystals with this new uh with this new you know what is it hide all ball that they're they're going with so yeah let's move on okay so moving on to number five number five is kind of like a give me we all know that they're gonna announce the new fallen god of weapons we all know that they're going to say something about the Fallen God weapons. Even they hinted at it very, very hard these past couple of weeks. They are going to announce new Fallen God weapons. And so that one's basically, I get a check mark on that one because I got it right. But let me say something else. Double points if this is right. In order for you to get those Fallen God weapons, you have to do a boss like Garmoth in order for you to achieve the Fallen God weapons. 
So, like, obtaining a Garmoth heart is already a pain in the butt to begin with. But yeah, let's just make it into, you know, capping you on your weapon so you can't get it unless you get the secret rare drop from this boss that we don't know of yet. And hopefully that isn't the case, but I'm going to assume that they're going to put a world boss in and that you're going to have to kill that world boss in order for you to get your Falling God weapons. Like, they haven't done that in a while. This is very old school BDO kind of thing where you had to kill Gazarka for the Gazarka and the Dandelion for the Dandelion. So why wouldn't you kill a boss for the Fallen God weapons? So that is my prediction. I really hope that isn't the case, but I could see them doing it. So double points if you have to kill a boss to get the new Fallen God weapons. If not, I still get the point because it, I will be surprised if they don't even announce the Fallen God weapons within the Heidel Ball. Okay, so my number six prediction is also another give me. But yeah, they're going to start hinting or showing more of Land of the Morning Light Part 2. But here's where my insight comes in. So you know how Land of the Morning Light Part 1 was just all gathering? Land of the Morning Light Part 2 is going to be, you know, PvE grind zones. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get new grind zones with higher gear score or just hopefully the best case scenario would be this place is a pve grind zone where you go out there and slap a couple of monsters to get some trash loop but it should be focused around group mechanics so if you want to have a group you know you go in with the group or you can do it solo so it's going to be like a hybrid between group and solo play over there in land of the morning like part two but assuming that they want to add group you know black shrine with your guild or with the party honestly i think they're gonna do this whole area with just group grind so yeah land in the morning light part 2 is gonna come out and it's gonna be strictly pve monster killing only because land in the morning light part 1 was only pve gathering so that is my prediction for number six okay so for prediction number seven Usually every single event that they host, like a ball, the Calpheon ball, Heidel ball, they usually make us walk away with some fat goodies. Last time was a horse and a Tet Black Star. Pretty wild, right? But I feel like this Heidel ball, we're going to get one free pen accessory of our choosing. Of course, it's not going to be a crazy accessory, but it's going to be a pen accessory, which is going to help a lot of people who are barely getting into the game, which trust me, there's a lot of people getting into the game. And I'm pretty sure people who are veterans will also enjoy this because this will actually help them boost uh, those who are below the 700 gear score mark. So yes, I'm going to say that this year's ticket item for the Heidel Ball is going to be a pen accessory. And then obviously they're going to give us hammers similar to the ones that we got, the Kron, the Kron hammers. We all know that they're going to give us that stuff. But the big ticket item is going to be a free pen accessory. And God forbid if they allow us to post it on the marketplace, because honestly, I kinda want that money. But yeah, let's uh let's move on. Okay, so prediction number eight. This one is a little bit out of left field, but I'm pretty sure all of you guys can understand where I'm coming from whenever I explain it. I feel like they're gonna make the cron hammers that they gave us for the 20,000 hours uh reward a craftable item in BDO, and that it sticks around so people can actually post it on the marketplace. Why would they go through all that effort to make an item that's going to expire and never be, you know, seen again and make it marketplace postable if it's not going to be a permanent thing? So I feel like during this time in the Heidel Ball, they're going to be like, yes, we need something that life skillers need to work up to to make a lot of money. And it's going to be, you know, the Kron Hammers that we are honestly tapping Dobrekas on left and right. So yes, I could see that being a thing. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, on to the final two predictions. The next prediction is, honestly, the guild system needs a revamp. So they've been introducing these little things where like you can now micromanage perms on guilds. I feel like since they're adding that in, that they're trying to pivot into um, allowing guilds to actually do more than what they're actually capable of now. Because right now, guilds are kind of useless. Unless you want to do Node Wars at Guild League, there's really no point in being part of a guild. The stats that you get that are part of a guild, like the plus AP and the plus accuracy, they're very negligible. They're very small and minute. The daily pay you get from uh, get, like guilds, like the 5 mil a day pay from guilds is very little whenever we're making like upwards of 1.2 billion grinding, what is it, Olins. So honestly, they got to revamp guild systems in order for players to stick around because you know what? Having a community makes people play longer and they know this for a fact. So they got to have a guild system revamp, make it where you can actually do more things with your guild. So I expect them to announce some type of thing where they're trying to make guilds better. So yeah, that's my, my ninth prediction. Let's move on.
Okay, now on to the final prediction. They're going to add new Dekia zones. And honestly, they're going to add new Dekia zones. And what I really want to see is make Dekia Kadri's again. I need Dekia Kadri's to come back. I have such a fond memory of messing around in Kadri's from way back in the day whenever that was like the spot to go to. So I really hope that they bring back Dekia Kadri's. So that is my last prediction, but I'm not going to leave you guys with only that last prediction. I'm going to throw in a bonus prediction. And this isn't something that has to do with gameplay or BDO, but I could guarantee you that they're going to do an apology when PA is going to be like, yes, we have really messed up Node Wars and we sincerely apologize. So here is an extra reward for enduring whatever we just gave you guys for Node Wars and kind of ruining the PvP scene for that. How much you want to bet they're going to apologize? And then they're going to be like, but here's a reward so you could be happy. So like, we're, we're, we're going aside, dog. Like, I feel like that's what they're going to do. Like, 100%. If this extra prediction is correct, you guys got to give me a dab in my uh, my Twitch chat. You know, it's down below. Link down below. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, we're really close. We're only like, what, 10 people away from hitting our... 850 goal so if you guys would like want to you know see me on twitch i stream mondays through thursdays the links are down below i appreciate every single one of you guys to like that stop by and listen to this you guys are amazing but other than that if you guys enjoy my content please subscribe i am a small youtuber the more support i get the more i make videos and with that you guys have a great rest of your day